What happened? He was in the explosion. He was in the lobby and the, fucking, the, the third explosion, the whole lobby collapsed on us. What was it like? What was it like? Horrible. It's like hell. You don't want to know. The whole building just collapsed on us inside the lobby. Was that a secondary explosion? Yes, it was. That was it the... Was yeah, definitely secondary explosion. But we was inside waiting to go upstairs. And on the way upstairs, the whole fucking thing blew. And we just, we just collapsed on everybody inside the lobby. So much of the first tower coming down, secondary? I don't know about the first one, but I know the second one, was, it was terrible. Then there was a third one, too, after that one. The first one after that? Yes, right. you were Everybody inside. was inside the building, waiting to go upstairs. And they, they, just, they just let loose. Everything just let loose inside the building. So what, what you tell me is that there was plane or whatever hit the building and then the secondary explosion. It was like three explosions after that. We came in after the after the fire. We came when the fire was going on already. We was in the staging area inside the building. Waiting to go upstairs. Oh, right. and they, oh, they oh, the, whole, the whole lobby collapsed on the lobby inside. We made it outside. We made it about a block. We made it at least two blocks, two blocks. and we started running. Floor by floor, it started popping out. It was like, it was if, if they had detonated. Yeah, detonated. They were planning to yeah. take down a building. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down. I was watching right. it and running. So we're standing there in the lobby. We're getting all together. All of a sudden, we hear. I looked down to my right, and the elevators exploded, something out of like a Bruce Willis Die Hard movie. We, we was just, you know, you think about it, you, you say, something else had to go on here. Something else was going on here. This just don't happen like this if when a plane hits the 80th floor of a building and the lobby gets blown out. It's safe to say that you agree with the premise that the Twin Towers, and especially Building 7, were brought down, and brought down with other means than just a plane hit. I believe so, yes. Trade Tower 7 by itself is the smoking gun, not hit by an aircraft with only a few relatively small fires that came down in a classic crimp and implosion going straight into its basement, something only very precise demolitions can accomplish which takes days if not weeks to prepare. The 9-11 Commission didn't even mention it and FEMA actually stated they didn't know why it collapsed and left at that. Brothers, I know what implications, I know that the above implications are hard, almost unthinkable, but the official explanation is utter nonsense and 343 of our murdered brothers are crying out for justice. Yeah. There was an explosion. The building did come down in complete classical uh, controlled demolition. It came down on its own footprint. There's no question about that. As a matter of fact, uh, Richard Gage from Architects and Engineers has completely handled that from his area of expertise, which I lost 343 guys that day, and I can never forget that. I love my fellow firefighters, we love each other, and I'm dedicated to exposing this false flag that took their lives. I only took the red pill in 2010. I woke up after watching a Jesse Ventura show about the Pentagon, 9-11, and my specialty in the military was aircraft and missile systems, so they couldn't lie to me. I am highly trained in those fields, and when I saw what the government was trying to say occurred, and what the physical evidence showed, there was a clear contradiction. I woke up. Explain to me the moment of impact. Well, me and Mr. Hesh, the Corporation Council, were on the 23rd floor. I told them we got to get, get out of here. We started walking down the stairs. We made it to the 8th floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the 8th floor. All this time, I'm hearing all type of explosions. All this time, I'm hearing explosions. When they finally got to us, and they took us down, because I asked them, I said, when we got down there, I said, where are we? He said, this was the lobby. And I said, you got to be kidding me. It was total ruins. Total ruins. Now, keep in mind, when I came in there, the lobby had nice escalators. It was a huge lobby. And for me to see what I saw, it was unbelievable. Where did that originate from? Did the explosion come from under you? Was under, it was definitely under us. It was from under you. It okay. definitely was under us. I'm just confused about one thing and one thing only. Why World Trade Center 7 went down in the first place. I'm very confused about that. I know what I heard. I heard explosions. When I got to that lobby, the lobby was totally destroyed. It looked like King Kong had came through it and stepped on it. And I, it was so destroyed, I didn't know where I was. I couldn't stop watching it. And that's when I found out Building 7 came down. I was so surprised. And I'm saying to myself, why did that building come down? And I knew why it came down, because of the explosions. We've seen buildings completely destroyed like this before, but only when done intentionally. 
Danny Joenko is the expert on this in Europe. What did he say? Dit is controlled demolition. Zeker weten. Zeker weten. Er is nagesprongen. Dit is een opdracht gebeurd. Het heeft een team gedaan van experts. Let's compare. Explosives are used to demolish buildings like this in just seconds. Okay, so it's a controlled demolition. What's the problem with that? Well, it happened on the afternoon of 9-11 at the World Trade Center. Let's just think about this. Controlled demolitions cannot be engineered and rigged in a day. It takes months. And therefore, this event must have been planned in advance. Did they actually use the word brought down and who was it that was telling you this? In the fire department and um, they did use the word we're going to have to bring it down. And these people heard explosions. We heard this, this sound, it sounded like a clap of thunder. It looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out. About a second later, the bottom floor caved out. The building followed after that. He takes his hand off and you hear three, two, one, and it was boom, 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 boom. And these reporters recognized it as a controlled demolition. And I turned in time to see uh, what looked like a, a skyscraper implosion. It looked like it had been done by a demolition crew. The whole thing just collapsing down on itself. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. 